Hi, my name is Matt Eason. I'm one of the product liability attorneys here at Eason and Tamarini. And in this video, I want to discuss some of the questions we normally get about product liability cases. First off, who is responsible in a product liability case? Is it the manufacturer or is it the distributor or is it the seller? And the answer is all three of them. So it's not just who made the product, but it's also anybody that was a wholesaler in the chain of the sale of that product and then the ultimate seller of that product can be liable. Where that comes into play is, for example, if you were to buy one of these fancy little scooters we see every Christmas that comes out or something like that, and you buy a name brand scooter from a name brand seller that was made by a name brand company, if that scooter were to catch on fire and burn something down or injure you, you've got people along the chain of that sale that would have pockets to satisfy your injury claim. Conversely, if you buy an off-brand product, such as one of those scooters from a flea market, and something happens, then unfortunately trying to find somebody that can cover for you for those injuries is going to be very difficult. So that's one of the benefits of buying name brand items that might have a danger liability down the road. A second question we typically deal with is, are they strictly liable or are they negligent? And under the law, the distributor is strictly liable if the product fails. Now that means it has to be used in a way that was reasonably anticipated to be used. And that's kind of an interesting one. In particular, if you look at a screwdriver, a screwdriver is in, intended to be used to screw and unscrew screws. However, it's reasonably anticipated that a screwdriver is gonna be used to pry open paint cans, pry open other things, and as a result, screwdrivers are manufactured in such a way to ensure that they don't fail during that type of use. The third question we often get is, well, what type of things give rise to a product liability case? And the main things to understand is that a manufacturing defect, a design defect, and a potential failure to adequately warn defect are all three different theories to a product liability case. If the product was intended to be manufactured in one way, but during the manufacturing process it came out defective, well that would give rise to a product liability case. Likewise, if the product was just designed inherently in a dangerous way, and it was manufactured the way it was intended, but it's a bad design, that's another theory of a product liability case. And the final theory of a product liability case, which has become the, probably one of the most common, is a failure to adequately warn. And that's why we see so many important warning labels and war warning brochures, is to make sure that the user of that product understands how that product is intended to be used and can use it safely. If you've got questions about a product liability case, I hope you consider reaching out to us. My name again is Matt Eason. I'm one of the product liability attorneys at Eason and Tamarini. Our address is 1234H Street, Sacramento, California, 95814. You can reach us on the web at www.capcitylaw.com and my phone number is 916-438-1819.